Hello everyone, here to let you know what matches happened on Monday Night Raw, October the 18th, 2021. Mace took on Finn Balor 101. Not a very good match. I did not enjoy it at all. It was like maybe two, three minutes. If you're lucky, Mace just destroyed Finn Balor. Then Finn Balor does his signature sling blade, drop kick in the corner. Coup de Gras for the one, two, three. If that's what they're going to be doing now with Finn Balor, having get his butt hand to him all match to do that free move combo to win the match, it's not going to be good. Finn Balor has got a lot of talent in his arsenal. Let him perform and show people what he can do now on SmackDown. Like he was in NXT. Um, Randy Orton and Matt Riddle took on Street Profits non-title. This was an okay match. I enjoyed it. Nothing very exciting happened. Um, Orton went to RKO Montez Ford when AJ Styles almost came out and attacked. Almost laid out Matt Riddle on both members of the Street Profits. AJ did a phenomenal forearm on Randy Orton. That was it. And then almost picked him up. Roundhouse kicked him. And he kind of did not look good Roundhouse kicking him. Um, Monsoor faced Cedric Alexander 1-1 with Sean Benjamin ringside. An odder, fast, pointless match to have on Raw. Cedric did a couple moves, and Monsoor inverted DDT. Then uh, a sp he sprung off the top rope, hit neck breaker on Cedric, and won the match. We're like, okay, yep, yeah, that was pointless um, to see on TV. Um, after it, Ali came out, again, tried to tell Monsoor that if they would have been a better tag team, if you listen to him, follow his lead, and that crown jewel, he's going to show him that he's right, and Monsoor is not going to show you that. I'm right and all this stuff. It's going to be a good match. A real good match. I just hope they become a tag team again. Have Monsoor turn heel. He's always been a face for the past, like, I don't know, four or five years he's been in the company. It might be nice to turn him heel. See how he can do. Might be a good good fame for him. Um, Austin Fury got challenged by our truth backstage after the backstage segment. And I was like, oh, this is going to be a good match. Then it was Jeff Hardy. Like, okay, that was pointless. Like, why build up this whole R-Truth Austin Fury fame if it's going to be Jeff Hardy? It should have just been Jeff Hardy versus Austin Fury in a rematch. Um, Jeff Hardy tried to cheat the ring by a handful of tights, which ticked off Austin Fury, so he pulled him off the outside on the ring, age, um, ring apron edge and hit a nice neck breaker. And then Jeff Hardy hit a free move combo. Austin Fury kicked out. The Jeff Hardy went for the Swan Time Bomb. Austin Fury moved out of the way. Got a hold of him and had like a Turtle World TKO. They called it for the win. Um, after the match, he took a selfie again. Jeff Hardy, this time I ever got up, hit Twist of Fate on, then took a selfie himself. Um, Shayna Baszler took on Piper Niven and the Queen of the Ring semifinal match, folks. The winner of this would go on to Crown Jewel this Thursday to face Selena Bag in the finals. The first ever Queen of the Ring. And it was a terrible match. These Queen of the Ring matches. I've sucked. I'm just saying. They've been bad. Like this one. All month. Shane, like last month and this month. So uh, Shane Bezier has been on fire. He's been dominating. Kicking butt. Winning matches. And Piper and been just dominate on the match. All Shane Bezier was able to do was do a chokehold. And Shane uh, Piper and been... Lean back and won the match by pinning Shayna's shoulders to the canvas. Um, so you got Piper Living versus Selena Vega. Big E and Drew McIntyre teamed up again. This is three weeks in a row they have teamed up now. This time they face the Dirty Dogs again. The Dirty Dogs show that they're a good tag team that's being wasted in WWE. They should be doing something with them. So they just destroyed Big E and Drew McIntyre. Bobby Roode had a nice neck breaker on McIntyre. They had the 10 punch combo in the corner. Um, Dolph Ziggler did night two back to back stinger splashes on Big E in the corner. Then um, they had a nice uh, spine buster famous combo on one of them. Um, Big E got worked on for quite a bit. He tagged out. Drew McIntyre came in, started doing his signature overhead belly to belly tosses. Overhead tosses he does. Um, I notice he does a lot of those now. Before he used to do like one or two, now it's like three or four or five in a match. Um, he grabbed a hold of Dolph Ziggler and did a inverted Alabama slam. So instead of Ziggler landing 
back first, he landed face first. On top of um, Bobby Roode, and then Big E tagged in. Grabbed hold of Bobby Roode and hit the big end from the one, two, three. After the match, they basically trash talked each other, had a steer down for the upcoming WWE title match, a crown jewel. Shot at Flair to defend it. Her Raw Women's Championship against Bianca Barrier. I did not care at all about this match. Again, Bianca Barrier was sloppy. Like, she couldn't even post up Shot at Flair to hold her up for a TKO driver. She took forever climbing the top rope to do a freaking moonsault. So, no wonder Shot at Flair was able to knock her off. Then Shot at Flair turned around and took like two minutes to climb a top rope as well. So. Bianca can move out of the way. Come on. Um, and Bianca now had a habit of doing a move on Shot Flair and they sit there and slap her butt. Then she'd throw Shot Flair outside and come out of the top rope and slap her butt. She'd do a move for Shot Flair and then slap her butt again. Like, okay, we get it. You like to slap your butt, apparently. Um, Charlotte had a spear. Bianca kicked out. Then Bianca Barrera went to win the match, and Shaw Flair hit her with a steel chair to cause the disqualification, so Charlotte keeps the title, which I don't understand why, because she's going to SmackDown. She can't have the Raw Women's title on SmackDown. Same as Becky can't have the SmackDown Women's title on Raw. So here they got to switch the titles on Friday night, or at Crown Jewel, or they got to do what Shaw Flair wants to do, which is unify the Women's title, so there's only one single Women's title, which is going to be a bad idea. And that's going to ruin the whole Wyndham's division. Because it's going to focus on the same Wyndham over and over and over again. Where you have two titles. At least you got like Carmella, Lynn Morgan, Italia going after it. Not just the same people. The final match on Raw. that happened. Jinder Mahal with Sharon Banky took on Xavier Woods with Kofi Kingston in the corner. And the last semifinal match of King of the Ring. The winner of this will go on to face Finn Bauer. Really good match. I enjoyed it. Um, Xavier Woods had a nice Russian leg sweep on um, Jenna Mahal. Um, Jenna Mahal grabbed a hold of him, had a nice back body drop and a gut buster. Then he tossed Xavier Woods outside the ring, and Xavier hit the steel steps going down. Um, Jenna Mahal went for the colossal clutch. Um, Xavier Woods tried to get out of it, but. He finally did after a bit. Then he went off the top rope, and Jinder Mahal caught him and hit the his finisher. Xavier Woods kicked out of it by grabbing the bottom rope. I'm sorry, he didn't kick out. He grabbed the bottom rope to break it up. Um, then Xavier Woods hit a nice move. Then he did that springboard halfway across the ring elbow drop. That sucker can fly. And he won the match. I'm happy. Xavier Woods won it. Not Jenna Mahal. So, a King uh, Crown Jewel, I'm sorry. It's going to be Xavier Woods versus Finn Bow in the finals of the King of the Ring tournament. That match should be very really good if they give them match time. If they get them like three, four, five minutes, it's not worth it. Um, And Finn Bow's match, I forgot to mention, as he was facing May, sir. Xavier Woods, it came out, put on the robe of the crown and the scepter, and it was kind of like mocking Finn Bauer. Doing his pose and all that. And Finn Balor took offense to that. And they started exchanging some words. And Kofi Kingston had to get between them. So they have it folks. Definitely check out Xavier Woods versus Jenna Mahal. Um, Bobby Roode and Dolph Ziggler versus Big E and Drew McIntyre. The other matches were... I don't even know why they were on TV. Um, they were... I, well, Matt Riddle and um, Randy was match because Street Profits was okay. But not for where exciting happened. But the other matches were just, oh boy, that's it. Like, wow, yay, woo, I watched that match for nothing. Uh, stay safe, everybody. Too sweet. Bye.